The title for this video isn't clickbait. I managed to make the Glizzard Wizard my biggest fan. I managed to turn a simple, supple, 40-year-old married middle-aged man into my biggest supporter. But it's not that simple. Let me take you back about two weeks ago. See, a couple weeks ago, after I uploaded my videos on Ark Survival Ascended, kind of felt like they weren't my best work. The editing's all over the place, and uh, there's not much direction to be found. Uh, and I don't want to just become some, like, soundboard YouTuber who has no personality. These are not Nuggets! These are Freddy Fazbear Nuggets! <laughs> so I sat back, took a break, and uh, tried doing my homework on watching people I think do a good job of influencing. It definitely wasn't just an excuse to sit and watch YouTube. Definitely not, you know. Me? Procrastinate? And who should stumble across my recommended tab but one Brandon G.H. Ewing. Now, Brandon and I go way back. I mean, we're practically best friends. Maybe it says push on the other side of the door. It doesn't. <laughs> right? Because we've already been over there. So... Surely things will go well on this alien world with horrors capable of ripping Atrioc and his jolly little gang limb from limb. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Did we miss the door? strange switch out. What was that message? <laughs> hey, Atrioc, I'm the translator for Hidetaka Miyazaki. We're reaching out to know if you'd like to talk about joining the From Software team to work on the game design for Second Row 2. Would you want to take a moment to discuss onboarding with the project? The answer is unfortunately no. I just sat watching his streams, making them better by adding to the chat by being unique. I couldn't get enough of it. And then I was struck with an idea. A beautiful, splendid idea. You see, everyone has heroes. Everyone has people that they look up to, right? People that inspire them. People that make them want to be a better person. I mean, I know I speak for everyone when I say I'm inspired by Conrad's pants, but that's not enough. If we look back at Sigma Rule number 37, which says... Sigma Rule number 37. Make your heroes think you are their hero. And once you've done that, make them constantly talk about you to their fans, so they are always giving you new viewers and getting none for themselves. That's passive income, baby. So it wasn't enough for me to just be Atriox's biggest fan. I needed to turn him into my biggest fan. But how? What would be something that could get his attention? I could, uh, I could get it, I could, I know, I'll message his dad and tell him to say something on Christmas. No, he's probably busy hanging out with slime anyways. Uh, Maya, maybe I can pay Maya to tell him something. Wait, no, fuck, dogs can't talk. That's just cartoons. Uh, I'll, I'll show up to his house. Yes, that's it. I'll show up to his house. <sighs> no, they don't let non-family members into the senior homes. Come on, Evan, use your brain. All those Marketing Mondays must have taught you something. What would Atrioc do? This is hopeless. What can I possibly do? And then, it hit me. I needed to make an Atrioc song. It didn't have to be original. Just something that would get his attention. However, this part was a little bit easier said than done. Because the market, or uh, <laughs> should I say the... Glark it. It's gotten a little, uh, well, oversaturated. Monkey ball, come. I will pay $200 for a monkey ball sea shanty. A monkey ball sea shanty? Wait, let's see it. There once was a ball with a baby, and the color of the ball was green, you see. The ball went fast and it rolled to the end, so roll my monkey ball roll. Done. We'll take our dole and go. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Take him out and he'll come back harder. The Hino Bravo! This guy's a rocket engineer? And so, knowing there wasn't a second to lose, I got to work. 
First, I picked a song I thought would sound good as well as be a good option to strip bare and change all the words to glizzy and old and bald. You know the drill. I decided to do the Grinch song. It fit the theme of insulting the person that it's about, along with being a song that falls in line with the holidays. And before you knew it, what might as well have been the second Sistine Chapel was sitting right before my eyes. <laughs> A concoction of sounds and words that not even an angel could produce. My magnum opus. And so, I showed the ACLU's top management what I had wrought upon the world. And they said... Dude. Thank you. That ending made that a five for me. Bro is yapping. Bro is yapping. With the exception of one Ask the Storyteller, it was praise like I had never imagined. But I wasn't out of the woods yet. See, all the other songs that were submitted were either originals or had 10 plus features on them. And I was a solo artist. It's hard making it in this world. I know the music industry's tough. I mean, just look what happened to Elvis. This is a dangerous place for people with my caliber of talent and skill. So now we move on to phase two, the verification of my work. I was put among the other songs that were submitted to the Christmas album for members all across the community. The best of the best. I'm talking clarinet players. I'm talking bass note singers. I'm talking, uh... Mongolian throat singing. I don't actually know if that was a submission, but I wouldn't be surprised with the amount of talent and skill these musicians I was being put up against had. And so, all that there was left to do was wait. And wait I did, losing sleep, biting my nails. I couldn't get over the what-ifs. Maybe I didn't say Glizzy enough. What if I made one too many jokes about him being old? What if I should be focusing on my finals and not wasting my time writing a song about a middle-aged streamer who spends eight hours plus grinding a game children were the primary demographic for? I couldn't let the thoughts discourage me. I was in too deep, and I've given up too much self-respect to stop now. And then, it happened. I saw the message. The verdict was... We did not make the cut, ladies and gentlemen. Aww. I know, what the hell? I put my heart and soul into that song, and I, I practically created the greatest musical masterpiece of the past decade. Some would say I might have even made the song of the summer, but we'll never know. Because the ACLU doesn't care about how good you are. All they care about is the fact that you're part of the rat race. They may preach about how they want equality and safety for their employees. But you know what they really care about? Elitism. They care about being the ones at the top. They don't care about you. All they want is their own success. And that's all they're going to get. Because you know what? You know what? They're the 1%. Yeah, that's right. But alas, it didn't matter. The love I had poured into my art was sadly wasted. I was yet another lonely chatter, left to rot in my own thoughts, in my solitude, and my crinkle cup kettle brand sea salt potato chips. But I had one final hope, the Atriox subreddit, famous for classics such as Spoon Shriok, Coffee Cow, and should we call him Blowjob Ewing? <laughs> This being my competition, I wasn't so sure I stood any chance that my song would make it to the top. But to my surprise, to the top, it did. Make it to. Make it to the It made it to the- it was at the top of hot. It made it there. Yeah, good job, Evan. I had made it to the top of the loser's bracket, ladies and gentlemen. And now, it was up to luck yet again. All I could do was sit and pray to any god that would listen that the FTX fanboy would somehow, some way, do a Reddit recap sometime within the next week. Day one, nothing. I was lost yet again. What am I doing? Day two, nothing. I was losing hope, losing myself. I was grasping at straws posting here, in this wasteland, this desert. There was simply no end to my torment. It was all because of Ask the Storyteller, that elitist fuck. How dare he preach about equality for the workers of the Union whilst he should sit on his throne of lies and push down the little man, reaping the rewards of everyone else's creative magnificence. I mean, what has he done that's so much better than me, huh? I could have done better than... Yo, I'm cool, calm, collected. My flow is like triple C. Somebody call me a medic. They doom drop. Grind set, no latex. It's real raw. Uh, okay, maybe not. He's got me beat there. Maybe this is my fate. This is who I am. I... 
I can't remember what day it is. I have become Prometheus. I gave mankind fire. And for my kindness, what riches have the gods bestowed upon me? What reward? Agony. Unending. And unyielding. I no longer care about worldly things. Earlier today, my mom asked me to do my laundry. I responded, You would ask a shepherd to tend to his flock whilst his home lies in ruin. She didn't understand. No one. No one understands. It is only now I realize. It was never Glistriach that was the clown, but in fact I who belongs to the circus. An outcast. A freak. Who knows no rest, only the cold embrace of the shackles that imprison him. Yeah, I think I did already talk about this. You're a mean one, Mr. Gliz Grinch song parody. You're a mean one, Mr. Gliz. <laughs> you really are he. Not as good at chess as It was like the rapture was taking place before my eyes. Heaven on earth. And I was the only one who could experience it. My prayers on day three had finally been granted. The one and only bovine beast finally reacted to my song. Granted, he skipped my awful producer tag. Dropping sick beats for you to drink coffee to. <laughs> it's such a terrible outro tag. <laughs> but it didn't even matter. My work was appreciated. I made it, mom and dad. <laughs> I made it. I fucking made it. That being said, Atriarch had some criticisms. So let's go ahead and talk about why, as usual, the, the Glizmeister is in fact wrong in his opinion. I'm sorry, is that an insult to me that I'm not as good at chess as Magnus? <laughs> the all-time GOAT, greatest player to ever live. You could say that to fucking Ali Reza Faruja and it'd be the same. Everyone, the old man is trying to justify his own incompetence. Quick, quick, point and laugh. <laughs> Mr. Gliz. I realize that most of this isn't even a song. <laughs> it's like, he's got a little sing-song voice, but then it's just like him just like stopping the music and talking and saying you're old and bald or some shit. <laughs> hey, Atriok, um, how would you define rap? Hmm? Just, just, just a question. Just a question. No need to get angry. Just a question, because uh, I would define it as uh, a man making art, writing on the parchment about his hardships and losses and scars where his heart is. Brandon just got handed a success from his friends and his branding in Hitman 3. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss. You see, Brandon, I went easy on you. Don't make the mistake of confusing my peacefulness for helplessness. You have all the sense and wisdom of a 900 year old guy. That's all, that would be a lot. That would be a lot. And before you go saying, well, that guy must be very smart, his mind would actually deteriorate at a rate faster than any new neuron synapses could. You know what? He's probably already forgotten anyway. Atriox and his nine. Touche. Oh, there's, there's no commentary here. I was, just, I was just showing you I got his ass. And so, the work was done. I could finally sit and relax, and be happy with my life, with myself, with my achievements. A lonely chatter. Only a parasocial Andy who had the delusion and, and the stupidity and, and was chronically online enough to get it done. And what do I have to say about it? Too fucking easy. I mean, I have this guy eating out of the palm of my hand. He, he's reacting to my videos on the Reddit. He, he's clickbaiting my video in the thumbnail of the Twitch VOD. I mean, he, he's practically relying on me to make all of his content for him. And then I... I realized something. Maybe it's not just Brandon. 
Maybe it's not just the coffee cow that is atrioc. Maybe, just maybe, we are atrioc. And what I mean by that is when we sit behind a screen and call someone who has more money than us, an easier job than us, and people that care about him, which let's be honest, not many of us chatters do, it makes us feel better to sit behind a screen and say, hey, that guy's old. Or maybe Atrioc is just a fucking loser who is, is really fun to make fun of. <laughs> uh, what, what, what was I talking about? So uh, thank you for watching, Atrioc. I know you are. Uh, please remember to subscribe because it would be really funny if I have less than 100 subscribers and you are one of them. You have a real opportunity to get in on the ground floor here. You know what I mean? I mean, I, mean, I, I, I did sub to your Twitch. So, I mean, you know, it's only fair. I give you $6 and you give me nothing except the number on my screen. Just remember, Atrioc, anytime you want to not go live someday or you feel like we won't want to watch, just remember, we don't care about any of that. We just want to make fun of you. Happy New Year's Eve, Brandon. And remember, bing bong.